guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Today, I thought I would share with you a bit of a no foundation, kind of no makeup makeup look. Now, what is a no makeup makeup look? I feel like that changes for everyone. Are you actually trying to look like you don't have any makeup on, but you do? Or are you just trying to do something that's really low key and kind of chill and like basically looks like you just have eye stuff on? For me and what I've been trying to do is find this kind of fast face where maybe I don't have a ton of time to get ready, but I want to feel put together. I want to get out the door, um, you know, and I, I don't want the makeup to be the main focus. And I find always the crux is foundation. I need foundation. I have a lot of redness. You can see that here. And I've seen so many people do no foundation looks and I'm over here like, how? Like, I need the foundation part. I just have a lot of redness everywhere. And I just felt like those no foundation looks couldn't work for me. Like, I just was like, no, it's not happening. But I think I've found something that works well enough for what I'm looking for. And along with all of that, I really wanted to find things in my collection that would do this for me. I wasn't necessarily interested in like buying new products to then create a no makeup makeup look or a no foundation makeup look. I just wanted things that I already had to work for me in a multitude of ways. So I think I found like a base routine that works well for me. It's pretty glowy, so warning, you gotta like the glow. But I thought I would share it with you guys. I'm gonna be doing basically like a no makeup, no foundation makeup routine. I am still using mascara, so <laughs> it's still there. And I might still do a tiny thing on my eyes, but we'll see. So let's just get started. I thought I would share with you the products. And again, there might be products that work better for this out there. And if you have some really good suggestions, of course, let me know. But I really was focusing on using shit I had already so that I wasn't, you know, purchasing even more shit to do less looking makeup on my face. Like, I, I don't know, it just didn't make sense to my brain. So we're prepped with skincare for the primer. I'm using the Stila One Step correct. This has like this kind of helix, this double helix of color corrector in here, green and pink and purple mixed into a jelly kind of matrix. Now, how much this actually uh, gets rid of redness? I don't feel like this actually does too much, but I picked this primer because it's moisturizing, but it does have, I probably put too much on my gun. I'm like soaking myself right now. But this has that color correcting, so I was like, okay. I don't have any like green correctors or anything like that that would really help with the redness. And like I said, I wasn't trying to buy them necessarily. I think something in the future, it's definitely something I wanna consider, but I was trying to make things work, you know? That's just to get my skin prepped. I love the feeling of primer. I love that moisturizing feel. Next, this is the product that's giving me some coverage, but isn't a foundation. It's glowy. I still look really natural. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I have the shade One Fair. Now, this is gonna add the glow, you guys. This is gonna add so much glow. And I will say and warn you, if you have big pores, this might make them show up. Maybe use a little targeted pore primer if that's something you wanna do. I just go with the flow, okay? I'm just like, I don't give a shit. I have pores. <laughs> Welcome to my life, okay? I use a brush. Now, if I wanted the best skin day, I probably wouldn't use a brush and I probably would use a sponge, but I do like the coverage because this has just the tiniest bit of something in it. And all it does is just kind of even out my redness. So my redness never goes all the way away, but what it does is it blends it all in together where your eye isn't distracted by any of the redness. And that's kind of what you do when you're doing like male grooming or anything like that, but you want it to still be really natural. I mean, I wouldn't use the flawless filter probably, but I'm just saying the goal is to try to mitigate redness while also not covering everything, like covering as absolutely little as possible. And that's what these products do. I look a little pink right now. I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe it's a pink shirt. Maybe that wasn't the best choice to wear, but it is what it is. I also have like a lot of natural light coming in over here. So I've been trying to add some of that in. I like the way it looks, I think, more. Anyway, now what we're talking about. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I have the shade light. Essentially, this is a cream bronzer, but it's very, 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 very light. It has a lot of translucency to it. It's pretty perfect for this kind of no makeup makeup look, and this is just gonna give me a little bit 
of definition I find without being too much so I'm just using a sponge this one's from Doso Colors like my favorite it's so fluffy but I'm just going gently I'm not being too targeted with any of it because again you're not meant to look perfect I mean if you really want your skin perfected just use foundation this is more like how can I get there without having my whole face covered this would also be a really good look if you were doing more of like a beach day or I feel like something like that where you know I feel like it's gonna rub off <laughs> maybe by the end of the day you're really gonna look like you have no makeup on but it'll be like subtle that's just what I picture you know it's not gonna like run it's not gonna be patchy because it's already so light so anyway I just add that to my normal bronzing places and I like to do that before I go in with a corrector or you could use a concealer too at this point I've just been using my Sigma color corrector this is like a duo I usually mix the two shades so the darker and the lighter together and that's what I use under my eyes as my concealer my corrector and it just adds a little bit of brightness I just use my finger with this. I find the warmth of my skin helps. Let me zoom you in. Sorry guys. So that's what my skin's looking like so far. But I'm just going to tap that in. I like to do my bronzer before I do my concealer or corrector or anything that's like acting like a concealer because if I get too out of control with it I can kind of tone it down without adding more product if I did the concealer first then I'd conceal and then use the bronzer and then if the bronzer is out of control you add a little more concealer and I'm kind of avoiding having to add more but anyway I just tap this on it just kind of brightens up a little bit and then what I'll do is if I have any problem areas whatever that means um, then I just use this with, again, my finger and tap it on. So on my nose, I just want a little bit more coverage. I also have a little bit, I feel like, of redness here on my cheeks. So I'm just going to tap that into that area and cover what I want. Already, I mean, I feel like my skin just looks like glowy and pretty natural. I like it, you know? It's just fresh and don't get me wrong, I love my makeup, you know, and I, I love my foundation. My Yensa one's so good, you know, but sometimes it's just nice to just, I don't know, not have to wear foundation or something. Like, and I just, I think I never, I really never thought it could be me, but I think I found something that I genuinely like the way I look with it on, so. Okay, so that's bronzer, concealer. You could even go in and really conceal like any areas you have breakouts. I'm just not that kind of girl. I sometimes need to be, <laughs> when I go out, I feel like like I really sometimes wish once I'd gone out, like, man, I wish I concealed that pimple a little bit more, but I really don't do that that much. <laughs> anyway, next is blush, and I have this from Laura Mercier. This is just a sample of the Tinted Moisturizer Blush, and this is the shade Provence, or Provence. I'm gonna do a little swatch. This is really pretty. I haven't used it yet, though, so I'm like, ooh. Am I gonna fuck this whole thing up by using it right now? Maybe, maybe I will. So this is a small little swatch of it, but it's very natural. So that's why, obviously for this look, something good. For a powder though, I've been using this blush from Clinique. This is the Opal Pop and that's been really pretty too. So that's Opal Pop. It's a little bit more peach. I think I'm just gonna do Opal Pop. Like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. I'm not trying to add a ton. I just like to add a little bit of color, even though it's a no makeup makeup look like it's okay to have blush gosh dang okay simple not too much and I think for now I'm gonna leave this here I'm gonna do my brows I'm just running through my brows with just this this is the Tarte Busy Gal Brows in Ash Blonde this is working pretty well I've had this kind of waiting in the wings and I'm just trying everything I can lately honestly when it comes to brows so I'm gonna put this in um, and I'm gonna try to do them more natural to kind of go with the look, but you know, it is what it is. I feel like soap brows work the best when it comes to wanting a natural look with my brows, where it just looks like tinted hair, but the one soap brow that I have that's tinted is way too warm and it looks crazy, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so that's brows done. I feel like this brow looks darker, but I think it's just the way the light's coming in. Or maybe it really is just darker, I don't know. Maybe I just fixed it, okay. 
I am going to set my face with a powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent. I feel like this adds the tiniest bit of coverage as well. Um, it's also going to mattify things a little bit, which I think is nice, especially because this is such a glowy look. And it's going to add some longevity to it as well, which I feel like we want. So I'm just going to put my brush in. And for this, I really like work it into the brush. So it's not just sitting on the tips of the bristles, where if you went like this, it'd be like a powder show, you know? So work it in and then I just kind of tap and press into my skin where I want it. And I find this helps to not like disturb stuff underneath, but also it's really like pressing it in almost like a puff would, um, but obviously with a brush. And I mostly hit the center of my face as opposed to like the outside. And I never go under my eyes. Personally, I just hate the way that looks. Although sometimes I deal with transfer. I don't know, it's a trade off to me. I'd rather have my under eyes looking nicer and just like getaway transfer than to have them look powdery and kind of not how I like them. So, okay, where are we on to next? I'm gonna wait to do highlighter till the end because I don't even know how much highlighter you actually need if you're really trying to do like the no makeup makeup look or if you're just trying to be more natural. I love highlighter, so I don't know what I'll do. This I feel like is where you would maybe just add some mascara. I think I'm gonna show you what that looks like and then kind of weirdly go on and put my eyeshadow on after. I know that's odd, but I wanna show you what this would look like actually without any more steps. The mascara that I'm using is the one from Addison Ray's line, Item Beauty. I got it through BoxyCharm and I actually, I don't know, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I love the brush and sometimes I really like the way my lashes look, but sometimes I feel like they get a little chunky. You can already see the difference. Obviously this actually looks like no makeup, at least for me and my blonde little lashes. Um, but this, you know, gives me the definition. It's beautiful. <laughs> I've always had my light blonde hair um, on my lashes. And so I remember the first time I ever put mascara on, I immediately was like, oh my gosh, I'm so girly looking. Like I feel like mascara immediately just is like, girly moment because it's so stark against my actual features that you can really tell it's happening, even just mascara. Um, and I thought I would mention too, I put mascara on, I kind of flick it out. I don't know if this makes sense, but when I'm putting it on, I go up in the middle, I go out this way on those lashes. And then on the outer edge, I don't go like up, I go like kind of out. So I kind of get that like, more, I don't know if it's a cat eye, but that kind of thing going on. I feel like it looks good with my eye shape and I just realized someone commented like, oh, I love the way you do mascara. And I was like, what? I didn't even think about it, but I just thought I would mention here since we're getting into the nitty gritty of it all, <laughs> that that's what I do. I also switch my hands. I do not like use this one really. Sometimes I will just for this like inner corner cause I feel like it's easy to make the lashes go this way, but yeah, I switch my hand. <laughs> so I'll like apply my mascara on my left eye with my left hand cause I don't know. It's just easier to like flick it out this way. I have to be more careful, but kind of learned over the years. The reason I chose this mascara is because I feel like I can really get in there, but also it kind of gives me the look of like, what are they? When people have those fake lashes, but they stick on your eyes longer. What are, why don't I know what the fuck those are called? Like in this moment, I cannot tell you, but you know where they kind of like, they glue them on and then like later you have like four left and they're kind of like, <laughs> everywhere. Anyway, I feel like it kind of gives me that look and that's like a natural done look that I see on a lot of women. They might like not do a ton of makeup, but they just have those those lashes that are always on them and they look, I like it. I like that look, honestly. Um, but I can also show you in this alone <laughs> that this eye is when I like it when the mascara looks good. And this one, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's just a little more chunky, kind of like just not, it's like dried out a little, but I did not put mascara on my body bottom lashes. I don't think that that's kind of the look if I'm going for the no makeup makeup. Sorry, I was just getting rid of any creasing. I have like these little creases under my eyes and if product collects there, I just kind of tap it away. But here's the look, like this would be the look. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it as well, but I think I look really done, really pretty simple and like, you know, more natural, but definitely done up. And I have no foundation on, technically no concealer, just a little bit of the corrector spotted onto my cheeks, my nose, and my under eye, like that's it. And I feel like overall, if you just look at me, I look put together. I honestly feel like I feel as good as I would be 
I was wearing the foundation. But yeah, so okay, that's what the look looks like. Oh my gosh, I forgot lips. Let me do lips. Okay, so I am gonna line a tiny bit, a tiny bit, okay, I promise. Let me zoom you in. Tiny bit, okay? I'm wiping off whatever the fuck I had on. You don't even need to, I mean, did it do anything? Did I? No, not really. And for this no makeup makeup look, of course, I'm using the Rowan. This is the best. This is the best lip gloss, lip balm, liquid thing out there in Charlie. It's beautiful lightweight, the tiniest amount of color, just enough to make your lips look amazing. So plush feeling, so juicy, moisturizing, not sticky, like luxe, the definition of luxe, you guys. Okay, so that's actually the look <laughs> with this. This has like a little minty tingle too, just so you guys know, but now that I've actually finished the look, let me zoom us out again. And yeah, I think it looks really cute. I like it. And I, I think it works so perfect for what I'm, I want it to do. I am gonna add a little bit of highlighter. I have this one, this is the Becca one, so can't get it anymore, but whatever highlighter you want. Of course you could do like a cream one too. Um, I just feel like sometimes it's nice to powder the bit of cream that I have going on so that way, you know, things stick around a little bit longer, especially because I'm oily, but do you, baby. And then if you want the dewy look to come back, this I've been enjoying, actually. Uh, the Half Magic Dewy Lock, Dew Lock Setting Spray. This will bring back that actual kind of shiny look to my skin, which is nice. And you know, I like that look as well. Now I'm gonna zoom us in. I'm gonna finish this up because, <laughs> no, I'm gonna actually zoom us in. I'm gonna finish this up with a little bit of eye makeup, even though I already have mascara on, so bear with me. I just wanted to give you like two options. This is like the most minimal, no makeup, makeup, no foundation look that I would do. If I wanted to still do some <laughs> makeup on my eyes, which I still think is a more minimal look, for me anyway. I'm gonna prime using my Persuade pencil or whatever, cream shadow stick from Sigma. This has a bit of a base on it and I like that because it does add some coverage to my little eyelids, which I feel like are just kind of veiny or pink. Sometimes they have like little breakouts on them. Like I don't even know why because I don't pluck my eyebrows for a reason because if I pluck them, immediately break out. Like, I'd rather just be hairy, honestly. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. That could also be a part of this no makeup makeup look, but then I'm just gonna use this. I think this is the only thing. This is the Oyster Pearl Cream Shadow from Charlotte Tilbury. I am going to take a little bit of that on my finger, dab a little on each eyelid, and then just blend out with my finger. And this is gonna add like a tiny bit of something, but it's still very light, you guys. Very light. I feel like this works best almost as a base because of how little you can kind of see it. So that's one eye, done. Okay, boom, and that's with an eye thing, but still minimal. Like, I still think that's like no makeup, make come on. Come on, it's still no makeup, makeup. Something in my soul is telling me to highlight a little bit on my brow bone. I'm just using that same highlighter the tiniest bit. I'm also popping some on that inner corner. This might be like the most makeup hopefully it looks like is happening. And you guys, that's the look. Like, no foundation. So glowy. I love it. I mean, I don't look perfect. My skin does not look perfect, okay? Texture, little pimples, little, who even knows what's going on? Like what's happening on there? But it looks good. It looks overall good. When you don't zoom in on like, hey, what's that? It looks good, you know what I mean? Like from out here, I think it looks great. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just something I had on my brain, thought I would film it and share with you what I found in my collection. Like I said at the beginning, if you have any products that you love for a no makeup makeup look, a no foundation makeup look, things that you think have worked well, of course, share them, let us know. But I am happy to have found a way to make the makeup I have work for it. And it's nice to have like a simple, easy go-to look when I don't want to have a lot of stuff. Or I feel like this would be a really good vacation look for me, honestly rarely when I'm on vacation am I like trying to like do my makeup a ton you know and I feel like this is an easy one especially for something tropical or hot weather or like you're gonna be in the pool you're gonna be at the beach that type of thing so perfect for that but um anyway thanks so much for watching guys I hope you have an amazing day and other than that I'll see you in the next video bye